Beep, 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 beep. Good afternoon guys, I'm not clapping my hands together because my hand is still really bad, but welcome to another review from me Matt, the Bit of Berserker! Hope you guys are keeping safe and well out there, whatever you're getting up to, whatever you're doing. Thank you guys to everyone that has watched the review that i done earlier for Dirty Bones Clothing. Uh, seems to have gone down really well. And Dirty Bones Clothing, one of their other t-shirts that they sent me that's going to be up for review on Tuesday. But I have something slightly different for you this afternoon as I am on a day off work. So I'm trying to sort of play catch up at the moment with some of my reviews. Like I say, thank you guys so, so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart from all the support that I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Beer Map, as well as here on my Beer of Berserker YouTube channel, where it's all about showing you guys there is an alternative to huge, massive, faceless, factory-made brands and their took that they pump out. There are small brands, there are individuals and there are craftsmen out there that are making some really amazing products that we need to get behind them and help them and support them all we can. Uh, because they are making some amazing chat, uh, making some amazing products. Now you will notice with all the reviews that I do on my channel, all of my reviews are unedited. I have no sort of fancy software, no intros, outros and flashy graphics popping up or anything like that. All of my reviews are recorded in one thing on my simple iPad and then uploaded onto my YouTube channel. So it's not 100% perfect and I think that's kind of a bit of a unique charm to what I'm doing. Something like that. Well, I hope some of you guys agree out there. And But this afternoon's review has been, caught my hand, has been very, very kindly sent through from Pick and Melt, who's based in Gosport, also has an online shop. And as with always, links will be down below in the description box. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers as well. Thank you guys to each and every one of you that subscribed out there. Bless you. Like I said, when I reach a thousand subscribers, which I'm nearly there, I'm going to be doing a massive giveaway. So to be in with the chance of that, you do need to subscribe. But anyway, back to the subject in hand. This is from Pick and Melts, based in Gosport, uh, also online as well. They do wax melts, hand poured candles, and scented candles, and they have over 500 cents. Now, coming up to Christmas last year, I did do a review for them for uh, scented candles that they sent through. Really nice sort of Christmassy scents. They very, very kindly sent through another item for me to have a look at and see what I think of and give you guys my honest opinion. As with all reviews I do on my channel, all my reviews always have been and always will be completely honest and everything I do is completely unbiased. So I've got to be careful with this one because as the name suggests, it's candles and there is a lit one right there. And I'm the sort of person that I'm literally <clears throat> gonna set myself on fire if I'm not careful. So the ones that they've sent through, um, are basically some of their soy wax pillar candles. I do like soy wax because it has a clean, uh, longer burn. It's also sustainable as well. And also uh, it's got a cooler burn temperature as well to regular max, uh, wax, not max. Never set fire to anyone called max before. And these are also non-toxic as well. So I'm gonna bring this one over and put it there directly in front of me. We've got another smaller one here, and we've got a big boy here. So first off, the packaging that they come in, all come in a big box. Each um, box was wrapped in Michael Buble. Now this is Buble wrap, and also each one came in a really nice safe sort of like cardboard protective holder. So the, the two small ones were in one, and funny enough, the big one was in another one because Put them both on top of each other, they're both the same size. Also, the candles as well were wrapped in tissue paper. And this is tissue paper. And also had a leaflet. So we'll go to prices in just a second. Please read the safety and care instructions in full before lighting your soy pillar candles. I kind of did. One, never leave candle burning unattended. No, because that's the sort of stupid thing I would do. And please keep out of reach of children and pets when lit. Yeah. Uh, candles are very dangerous, especially if they're not lit and you throw them at someone. Burn your candle on a plate or on a proper candle holder, not on any surface that could be burned or marked. 
Well, I've got mine going on the dining room table, so it should be fine. Ensure your candle is not positioned near any drafts or winds. My wife does not have any issues with wind and the windows aren't open, so that's not a problem. For a first burn, you should burn the candle for at least two hours, but no more than four hours. This will help shape your candle for an even burn. There you go. When your candle is burning, make sure to keep your wick centered. I always have my wick centered. If you do not have a dedicated wick centering tool, no, I don't have that, I have a pen. You can improvise in old cutlery. If you fail to do this, you'll notice your candle heats unevenly and could potentially cause a breach. Do not blow out your candle to extinguish it. This is dangerous and could splash hot wax in your face. Snuff your candle out with a candle snuffer. I will use the other end of a pen. Restricting oxygen to the flame will extinguish it effortlessly and stop the wick from smouldering. It is the wick smouldering that causes the smoke you see and the smell when you blow out the candle. Before relighting your candle, trim the wick to around 5 to 10 mil. This will ensure your candle starts off with a steady flame. Your candle is trimmed and ready to light for first juice. Please uh, no, take note of the wick length before lighting. Ensure there is no debris before lighting, which I've kind of done. Then it goes on to how to burn your soy wax pillar candle. Our soy wax pillar candles burn from top to bottom with a beautiful bright flame and minimal, if any, waste. But like making a candle, burning it properly is also an art. To burn a paraffin wax candle, assuming it has the correct size wick, there is a technique known as hugging. This means as a candle slowly burns down, you can gently squeeze the top of the candle, make the candle more closer to the flame. This aids and even burning shells hot wax is no wax is wasted. The technique is also used to burn the soy pillar candles, although slightly different. Around 30 minutes to an hour. There's a lot of information for burning a candle here. I just thought you just set fire to it and you left it and you blew it out when you were done, but evidently not. After around 30 minutes to an hour of the candle burning, you'll notice the flame is getting smaller and the sides of the candle getting warmer. Not yet, because it's not been burning that long. This is when you can start to manipulate the candle, get it to go out and do things that you want it to do without it knowing. Probably not that sort of manipulation. The candle, to ensure the candle does not breach and that all the wax is consumed, if the wax moves without too much force, you can slowly and carefully push the wax into the center. Do this very gently with your thumb, evenly pushing it to the edge of the candle as you rotate it. Doing this for the first time may make you nervous. Please be careful of the flame. Ensure that the sleeves are rolled up and relaxed. I'm always relax, life is far too short not to. After a few times of doing it, you will understand the concept, then enjoy the art. There's a lot of things in life like that. After a few times of doing it, you'll understand the concept and enjoy it. Uh, the soy uh, pillar candles. Due to the nature of soy wax, it will crack around the edges as you push. The same with me. Try not to push in more than wants to break off naturally, otherwise you may cause a breach. Melted wax will spill out. Ultimately, you don't want to be too fussy with it and allow the flame to melt everything back into shape. Do not push in too much wax or you'll drown and snuff out the flame. After around four to six hours, basically too soft to manipulate, your candle should burn away to the bottom, leaving a small plate of wax or burn through the dining room table, which you can save and feed into your next candle in between hugging the sides. So these guys are obviously passionate about making candles because, like I said, I did not know there was so much time involved in candle lighting and stuff i literally lit it i know you had to trim the whack uh the wick down but it's really nice to see so these pillar candles they are soy wax they are unscented we have a big beastie here at 200 mils and two smaller ones at 100 mils the 100 mil ones uh millimeter not 100 milliliters millimeters burn have a burn time of approximately around 40 hours and the big beastie here uh, the 200 millimeter one for around about 100 hours so yes i do like soy candles because they do have a nice kind of a cleaner burn to them my glasses are some probably wax or something on me um they do have a cleaner burn time um and i just like the fact that pick and melts they're sort of like not gone off with loads of different stuff. The four cents on the wax that I uh, wax candles that I reviewed last year, absolutely stunning. And they've got real passion and sort of care and thought goes into what they are creating from just the packaging to the destruction manuals, as I call them, uh, for using them. And the prices on them aren't actually too bad. 
They are both exactly the same price, so you can buy two of the smaller ones, these are the smaller ones, for £16.99, or you can buy one of the big ones for £16.99. So, really nice, I mean, because if you look on the shelf behind me, you'll see some, without burning my hand off, you can see some pellet candles that I have here. So we do, I don't use candles during the summer months, because it, what's the point, it's, most of these kind of that way because you can't see me face not that you probably want to anyway um i tend to use candles and wax melts and scented stuff during the winter months like all the salt can uh put on the salt lamps and everything like that just to make the house feel nice and warm and toasty and inviting um candles that i've reviewed in the past and these candles although i've not burnt it all the way down to the bottom because if i burnt it all the way down to the bottom you'd have gone well there is no candle there so again seem really really well made no damage to them when they turned up ah oh, my hand hurts um really really nice good quality products fast delivery as well i think they turned up within around three days gonna be getting some wax melts from them for christmas and make the house smell nice so absolutely beautiful, well priced, and like I say, they do well over 500 different scents. You can pick and match your uh, snap bars and different sorts of wax melts and your candles. They do everything for the candle lover out there, and they care about what they're doing. So I hope you have enjoyed this little review this afternoon for pick and melt wax melts candles. Um, links will be down below in the description box. I should. And also, like I say, review will be coming up uh, on Tuesday for the other T-shirt from Dirty Bones Clothing. So stay tuned for that one. Also got a couple of other reviews lined up. Hopefully my Halloween special, which will probably be tomorrow at some point, although I'm working tomorrow night, which is a disappointment. But there you go. It's what you get when you work. Um, thank you guys so, so much. Um, any questions, any comments, please leave down below. Um, I do read and will respond to each and every single comment that is made. Um, wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to, stay safe because this corona thing's getting out of hand now. Keep on taking care of each other and above all, you only live once. Keep on loving each other. Stay safe. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so, so much to Pick and Mel for sending these food. Have a wonderful afternoon. I'm going to go and put my hand up and now wrap it in, and wrap it in some frozen peas. Awesome stuff. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.